So yeah, I guess you could say that this game versus Kentucky was definitely a staple win for us nearing the end of the season and going into March Madness as we completely dismantled this team from start to finish. Oddly enough, it was a close game in the first half, but at the beginning of the second half, we went on a 17-4 run that completely opened up this game and would end up beating Kentucky by over 25 to finish off our season. A win like this only solidified us as one of the top teams in the NCAA. As one of the best seeds in the ACC tournament, we punched our ticket straight to the ACC championship game where we'd be headed up against a familiar foe in Duke University. And trust me, it was a game for the history book. A hard-fought battle if you were watching it live on television, you definitely didn't want to miss this one but we were able to squeeze out a victory 86 to 74 in this one making north carolina the acc champions of the ncaa and giving us that momentum as we head straight into march with the season finally over let the madness begin we are now in the prime of the season with march madness finally upon us games where every moment matters every crucial second counts and it's win or go home from here on out stats and records are all thrown to the side and the only thing that matters now is getting to that final game and cutting down that net but but before the tournament even started, my mom and my cousin Dior, a fan favorite on the channel, decided to come down and visit to check in and see how I was doing and just to say good luck before the tournament began. So me and my cousin decided to go to the gym to get some shots up just to check in and see how he was doing. And it was so interesting to see how much he's grown over the past year since I've been gone from SoCal. He definitely cut down on his weight, got a lot faster. He's developed a better jump shot. And it's crazy to say this, but for as bouncy as he was in SoCal, he's got a lot bouncier since then. Honestly, proud to see where my cousin has gone and he's definitely going to do great things at the next level during this entire march madness tournament run coach davis has been stressing one thing to the entire team since the beginning find your why why do you play the game of basketball why do you work so hard at what you do why do you continue to keep going after you've been knocked down so many times find your why find your motivation and that's going to lead you to victories he tells us this every single day as we walk into practice as we walk into the gym if we cross him in the hallways he'll just tell us find your why and that's going to lead us to big victories during March Madness. Now, I've always thought that my why was what I found in my family, the people who believe in me, the people who support me, and the people who doubt me, as it continues to motivate me to be the best person that I could be on and off the court. And I'll continue to keep doing so as long as I have a ball in my hand. But during this recent visit with my mom and my cousin, I think I found something even deeper than just that. During this visit, my mom had actually gifted me with a lot of photos that she had found in her scrapbook and decided to give them to me as motivation during the tournament. And when I tell you these pictures have both me and my mom in tears it was probably one of the most emotional moments of my entire life it was a man in a matthews jersey playing for the georgetown hoyas during his freshman year of the 1995-96 season Ironically enough, he was playing against North Carolina in these photos. Playing alongside guys like Allen Iverson and Jerome Williams with competition like Vince Carter and Antoine Jameson. You see, my father was a star set of talent back in Georgetown and a future NBA prospect during that time. Being a top 25 player in college basketball and a lottery pick in the ensuing NBA draft. A lot of people say I play just like him in the way that he used to play back in Georgetown. He always loved giving back to the community, the one that sewed into him so much as a young kid to make him the prospect that he was today. Today. But unfortunately, he didn't grow up in the most ideal situations, and with that came the good and the bad. And unfortunately, it was just being in the wrong place at the wrong time. After finishing his third NBA season, he was coming home to visit his family, took one wrong turn on the wrong street, and was involved in an incident car crash that ended up taking his life away from him. Our family, our community, along with the sports world, was shocked to hear this news. And as I was coming up during the basketball ranks, they made sure that I was protected at all costs to make sure that I didn't do the things that would end up having another situation like my father. I heard so many great stories from NBA players, from his friends, coaches, peers, and loved ones about how much of a great man he was on and off the court. But I never got to experience it for myself as his life was taken away from me when I was just a little kid. But seeing these photos lit a new fire under me that I didn't know I had before, which completely motivated me to a whole nother level to win this thing for him. Passing away a basketball icon in North Carolina sports and leaving a legacy in me to continue to carry on to this day. After cruising through the March Madness tournament, we find ourselves in an interesting matchup against a team we've played before in the Sweet 16. And although we've already beat this team earlier in the season and they haven't had the best of years this year, one thing to note is that they weren't at full strength. They finally added some new additions to their squad after finally being cleared from injury. And this team looks a lot different than the last time we played them in the regular season. After just barely sneaking into the March Madness tournament, this new look Villanova squad has definitely been picking up some big wins throughout the tournament 
tournament and is definitely looking to make some noise against the number one seeded UNC squad. A team that looks rejuvenated, refreshed, and really ready to make a statement here against our squad. And I'm not going to hold you. They might just do it tonight. The stage is set. We here to make a statement and they here to get some get back. And honestly, y'all got the best seats in the house. Trust me when I say y'all don't want to miss a second of what's about to go down. And here we are in the Sweet 16 of the March Madness Tournament against Villanova. Man, have I been waiting for this one right here. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, this team was not at full strength when we last played them during the regular season, but they've got some new additions that could really make this game interesting, so. Hold on, try to get to the basket. Inside, leaky, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Just reset. Nope, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, why are y'all playing nervous right now? Now is not the time. Now is not the time to be playing nervous. Okay, let me see what you got, my boy, my boy, I need. Hold on, let me see what you got. Oh, I need that, yes, sir. Oh my gosh, why would you throw it right back? Chill, chill, you're the point guard. You can handle the rock. And we, okay, that's what I'm saying. We can't be leaving folks open because this team can shoot that rock. And they got Cam Whitmore on their squad. Oh my gosh. All right, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good. Call for a quick screen. Try to get to that basket. Inside, leaky. Finish that. Let's go. That's easy basketball. That's simple bread and butter basketball right there. That's simple bread and butter. I'm on that. I'm on that. I'm on that. Oh my gosh. I, I'm not on that. My fault. My fault. My fault. I'm just not on that. Who is that? My boy Tashawn Higgs. That's my dog right there. Oh, give me that off the glass. Okay, let's run it. Let's run it. Okay, Julian, shoot that. That's a bucket. Oh, good rebound. Good rebound, Baycott. Good rebound, Baycott. That's what we like to see. Hey, I know I know y'all see the scoreboard. I know y'all messing with the new scoreboard. You know what I'm saying? March Madness, CBS. You know what I'm saying? Feel me. All right, the way for us is we really got to try to generate some offense fast or else things are not going to be pretty near the end of this game. Here they go again, giving it to my, my boy Hicks, their star player. I got stuck on the screen again. I got stuck on the freaking screen again. Okay, we cannot let that happen. Hold on. When the heck did they get takeover? You know what? I ain't even going to. I ain't even going to. I ain't even going to. RJ, RJ, why you why are you playing nervous right now, RJ? That's all right. We here though. We still here though. We're still here. We're still here. It's only a, we're only down by we're only down by four. Let's run it. Let's run it. Let's run it. All right, RJ, I see you. That's an easy mini. That's an easy mini, RJ. Get your confidence back because right now you've been playing sorry. We ain't making all this way for you to start playing sorry now, RJ. Now lock him up. Now lock him up. Oh yeah, we stopping that lob. Look up. Let's run it to the basket. Hey, let's go. It's now eight to eight. We just tied the game up just like that. Got stuck on the screen. He missed. No way he hit that. No way he hit that. Dang, another Stevie. If he hits that. Yeah, we can't get a rebound. You know, it's fine. It's, it's, it's only five. We're only down five. We're only down five. Stay, stay confident, y'all. Stay confident. Stay confident. Stay confident. You know what I mean? Go to work, Julian. Oh, my God. What it, What are y'all doing? I swing out a rock to go to work, bro, and y'all getting poked. Like, y'all just letting them poke the ball out your hands like it's nothing, bro. Yeah, get them out the game, bro. I don't know what's going on with these folks. They not ready to play. They have been able to get rebounds all game. If he hits that. Oh, they're flying. Yo, they're flying through getting their own rebounds, bro. We can never get a rebound. We can never get a freaking board. Oh, I'm wide. That's a bucket. That's a bucket. Ah, come on now. You know what? That's fine. We still got the bucket, though. We still got the bucket, though. We did not. I did not need him to pick up that foul, but we still got the bucket. Lay, no good. Oh, look up. That's fine. Baycott inside. Good lay. Out of way. That's, now, that's transition basketball right there. That is transition basketball at its finest. They're giving it to Ashne. You try to get to the basket. No, sir. No, sir. We on that. Oh, yeah, and I got that badge. You know what time it is. You don't want to go to work? Then I'll just go to work. Hey, oh my, oh my God. Sit his hand flying through the stanchion. Oh my goodness. You know what? You know, if he see that, he gonna be, he gonna be mad, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I ain't, I ain't even mean to do that to you, my boy. You know, if he sees that, he gonna be, he gonna be mad though. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, I'm sitting on those. Oh, they threw it back door. That's me, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. Oh, pull up in the mid range. Oh my, hey. Okay, Baycott with the putback. Just give me one steal. Just throw, just throw a Stevie. 
Oh, ah, he dished it to the corner. He's been cold. We'll live with that shot. I'm not gonna lie. We'll live that. We'll live with that. That boy is three for 11. On the back door. Okay, Vaykai. Out of way to take the lead. You haven't been doing anything in this game. Please do something with the rock. Inside. What a good pass. That's a great way to get yourself in the game. You don't have to shoot shots to get yourself in the game. He not pulling that. That's... Oh, he hit, he hit those, man. He caught it from so far back, but I was stuck between two screens. I couldn't get back. Julian, let's let, let get you some buckets. Oh, good pass on the inside. Leaky, oh! Oh, that not even leaked. That's Baycott. My bad, Gangi. My bad, my bad, Gangi. My bad. That's definitely Baycott, okay? I'm really just chatting. And Cam Whitmore just knocked down another shot, bro. Going into halftime, it's a tie game here. This game could really go either way, so... All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the halftime show featuring your boy Hoodie Beast here. And it's a close one. It's a real close one here. I'll say this. In the first half, early on, I feel like we could have got out to a big lead early on. But to be honest, folks was just playing kind of kind of scary, kind of worrisome. You know what I mean? Which messed up the flow of our offense. Like, RJ was getting poked. I was getting poked. Like, everybody was kind of just playing nervous like we just gotta we just had to get the nerves out but once we got the nerves out then we definitely started cooking but you know me as always i'll be getting to them buckets okay don't 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 even be hating bro i just be getting to the buckets straight like that if we continue to be the confident team that we've been all season i'm sure we'll come out with this victory now this villanova team is a lot stronger since the last time we played them during the regular season so i i see why it is closer they definitely did turn it up so that means we just got to turn it up too you know what i'm saying so we're gonna see how the second half goes all right this is win this is a winner going home situation, so we really need to start turning it up. I'll pull a win a midi. Oh my gosh, Lays. Come on now. Starting off hot with a midi in the second half. Honestly, if we can get Julian going, then this lead would be a lot bigger than it is right now. But I'm here. I'm here. I'm on that. Never mind. I'm just not on that. I'm I'm to the side of him, that's why. Oh no. What 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 what? Are, RJ, what are we doing? That's all. Alright, come on. Let's run it. Oh, good. Big car, go up! Okay, I was about to say. If you didn't get a bucket there in that situation, ah, uh, it was about to be problems. It was about to be big problems. All right. Good pass. That's a good pass. That's a good pass. That's a great pass. I can't even be mad at it. Since you, since you want to go ahead and block, folks. That's fine. Hey! Putting that boy Cam Whitmore in the rim. Oh, I tried to jump it. I tried to jump it. Somebody help. That's off. Get the rebound. Let's go. Look up, Julian inside. Hey, uh, come on, Juju. That'll get you going. I, that better get you going. Cause if that doesn't, then I don't know what will, gang. I'm not gonna hold you. Let's get this stop, boys. Let's go on a run. Let's go on a run. Let's go on a run. Oh my gosh, and Tashawn hits, quiets the crowd once again with another three. Guys, this boy can hoop. Did y'all not check the scouting report? I don't know. We're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. Good jump. Great defense, great defense. Pulling up for three. Yes, sir. Good pass, Julian. Out of way to get on that, RJ. Shots, shots, shots going up. Oh, good tip. We got numbers, we got numbers. Look at the pass. Hey! Come on now, come on now. I thought I was nasty for a second. And he did, wow, he just went right past me. Like, I wasn't standing right there. Look at the pass inside. Oh my gosh. Ain't nobody told you to poke on him like that. My boy boy getting a poster. Come on, RJ. You you haven't been having the best game, but it's time for you to lock it in. Towns open for the three. Let's go. Add a way to make a statement, Towns. Add a way to make a statement. Lock him up, Towns. Lock up Brown, Towns. Lock up Brown, Towns. Oh yeah, lock up Brown, Towns. Here come the screen. Oh yeah, lock up Brown, Towns. Lock up Brown Towns. Come on. These boys out here playing defense. Oh, Julian to the basket. Hey. Oh, these boys out there hooping right now. Oh, yeah. Lock up Brown Towns. Lock up. Yes, sir. Defense. Oh, that's all. Oh, okay. Nah. I, I got to stop saying that because when Tashawn Hicks gets open for a shot, nine times out of ten is going in, but he just keeps quiet in the crowd. Oh my, oh my gosh. And he ca he came in the game and immediately just got a poster on Leaky. Okay, Baycott. Baycott has been having a game right now. 16 points and I don't know how many rebounds to go along with it, but you know what I'm saying? Come on, Julian. Hey! 
Yeah. Oh my gosh. Baycott is having a game. The game of his life. Look up. Oh yeah, Julian. This is your chance. Oh. Julian. Oh my gosh, I can never get no hard life fights with this team because they throw it. And that goes in. Oh my goodness. Of course. I give Julian the one chance to shine, bro. I give him a chance to shine and he does that, bro. Like, now they got a chance here to tie the game. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh my god. I need a Julian, I give you the one chance, the one opportunity to shine in the big moments. And this how you do me, gang? Yeah, can we relax? Can we relax, please? Just go to just come on, Leaky. Hey! Like I said, what I say at the beginning of the game, man? Bread and butter. That's what it is. Give me that! Oh yeah. Showtime! Hey! It's time for us to close this game out. It's time for CJ to tee up and close this game out like he was destined to do. Julian, and now it's not the time for you to miss. Now is the time for you to come alive. And here goes Cam Whitmore with a bucket. Oh, step back three. In his eye! Oh my gosh, the bake session was nasty. Uh, Iso for Hicks to the basket. Yeah, he just he just a bucket game. He how many points does he have? He got 13. Although it's 13, he's got some of the most timely buckets that this squad has needed. I will get it back. I will get it back. Don't worry, y'all. I'm gonna get it back. I'm gonna get it back. I'm gonna get it back. Oh, look up. RJ, get a lay. Oh, hey! RJ, I didn't even know you could get a lay that game. Oh! That might have, oh, it's not, it's really not over yet. I'm not gonna lie. If he hits that. Okay. Like I said, it ain't over yet. Y'all, we, we gotta be careful here. We definitely gotta be careful. Leaky for three, the dagger. You missed the three pointer. My brother in Christ. I can't get out there. Leaky for two. That's it. I, I honestly had no idea what was going on. I thought Leak was going to drive. Bro just pulled it. And you know what? We'll take it. We will take it. That is going to do it here for this one. We walk out of here with the victory. 64 to 57. A very low scoring game in this one. But hey, defense prevails. And we are moving on to the Elite Eight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited, man. Checking out the box score for this one. CJ 24, 8, and 8. Almost had a triple double. Run. But we ain't, gonna, we ain't gonna talk about the we ain't gonna talk about the turnovers, okay? Baycott with 18 points, 16 rebounds, and four blocks. Everybody else was, was kind of lackluster in this game. But I mean, if it was just on the backs of me and Baycott, then we did what we had to do. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't even be mad. On the other end, though, my boy Tashawn Hicks had 13 and 9 in this game. He was hooping. Like, even though he had 13 points, his 13 came at the most timely of moments. Ashni Brown, my dog. My dog, Ashni, you know what I'm saying? He got 12 and 2 in this game. Cam Whitmore with 8 and 5. And Justin Edwards, 8 and 13 rebounds. Now, he was getting boards too, but just not as many as Baycott. You feel me? It's playoff basketball. It's March Madness basketball is here. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, man. If you guys did, make sure to go ahead, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, turn on the post notification. You get notified every single time I'm uploading. This next one is definitely going to be a good one. I'm already knowing. I've seen the matchups. This next one's going to be a good one. Until next time, man, it's been your boy Beast, and I am out, man. Let's go.